Hello, welcome back to the workshop. Today what we're doing is we are rewiring the motor on the Myford. Let me just show you. So we have up here, we have a drum reversing switch. Okay, and that would be forward and that is reverse. And over here we have the back of the motor. Now, what I do have, as luck would have it, is instructions for wiring up the drum reverser which are here now if you are trying to wire up a drum reverser at home you will need to go and find your instructions for that because they might well vary i also have um, but it was only on the back of the motor i have here the which you can just see this is a hoover motor is the wiring diagram um, in the back of the switch for the hoover motor which basically says that this wire here and this wire here, which are, let me just have a look at that, um, three and four are the mains and these two are the reversers and they are supposed to come up to here um, and you can see from here, this is the sort I think we've got, which is a split phase. So we want um, that main one there, main coil, to be on 7 and 5, and the other two to be on, uh, let me see now, 6 and 2. So let's wire up. The other thing is is that this is, hasn't got an earth. So uh, I've got an earth attached to this up here. Uh, no earth on this. What I'm just going to, what I've got to do the reversing with is a five stranded wire which has this odd thing here, which I'm not sure what it is, but it hasn't got a wire in it. We have the standard three wires, which is earth, neutral, and live, and then we have two other wires there. Now, what I've found, and I'm just going to go off and put all these on off camera is I have now found let me just grab one out my nice little crimper so I'm going to go and put ends on both ends of that cable so we can connect onto these here and onto these here uh, and then I will come back to you right so we have put on which you can see here, the crimp ends. These are the nice ones. Um, make life a lot easier. So, on this motor, these two are live. Those two are the contacts for the starter coil. So we are going to go and put the brown and the blue on there. Now, if this ends up turning the wrong way on the reverser switch, I can, of course show you how to fix that so we've got those two on and we are going to put these on now we don't know which way around we ought to put these yet so let's just put that one on there and that one on there and i have wired up the earth because not having an earth on an induction motor is a bad idea and if you do get a tingle off an induction motor check the way everything is earth because it might well be that's your problem right so let's go put those on A little bit stiff, no bad thing. Now you will, or you need to work out when you're doing this, hopefully you'll have some documentation. Often in the, for motors, it is in the back of the co this cover here. Not always, and sometimes it's, uh, it's a bit, um, it's the best way of putting this, it's a bit foxed. Actually, I'm just going to turn the other one around. That's, I think... Yeah, these nuts have a flat end 
if you look at that hold on let me see if you can see that there you go that's very flat and that's got a nice chamfer so the chamfer wants to get out Sugar. Where did I drop that? Right, um, be careful because if you're not careful, you'll end up dropping a. Uh, where did I put that special tool? I just dropped the washer in a really awkward place. Oh. Right, now well done. And I've just managed to tip it right in. That's a nightmare. That would have could have landed in the switch gear. Right, I shall be back to you in a minute when I've retrieved that washer. Right. After having taken it apart and everything else, taken it off, taken it apart, messed around. Not, didn't find it inside the unit then I popped inside for a bit and it turned up on the floor so after I'd taken it apart near where I'd um, taken it apart so it clearly dropped off inside the important thing is to make sure it's not in, caught in anywhere important so we have let me just get that out of the way And I can always nip these up with the spanner in a sec. Right, okay, which is what I'm going to do. They don't need to be tight, particularly tight. They do want to be tight enough that they don't vibrate off. Right, so we have on the back of this motor, these are the live connections. That's a starter coil and up here this thing is reversing them so what we need to do now according to the instructions I connected up the earth we want one of the reverses to go over on this side one side of the reverse and the other side of the reverse goes on here and the mains goes either side so let's get that put on then if this goes the wrong way we just swap the reversing wires over on there and don't be a klutz like me and keep dropping things right now I have 
got somewhere one of those. Right, okay. That's going to prove to be a pain. So let's put the mains down there. Now this, to a point, is a bit arbitrary. If this ends up spinning the wrong way, I shall just swap the reversing wires over. Give me a second, let me just go find where that went. Right. Okay, let's go. Do this, that's it. And you're doing these up finger tight, but a hard finger tight. Right, so now, if everything's worked out, you can just see the chuck here, okay? When we turn it on forward, it should be turning that way. And forward is turning it that way, and when we turn it on in reverse, it should go this way. So let's just plug that into the mains. And it does. And reverse. Anything I need to do. Just so as you know, I'm just going to unplug that again. I do want to put some oil in the bearings. If this um, goes the wrong way round, you swap this wire over with this one on the other side, which is it happened to be the grey wire, and you swap the relationship between one coil and the other. So if I refer you to this diagram here, just see if we can see. So you can see that this is the starting coil with the switch in it, okay, and if putting it between 2 and 6 here doesn't work, then put it between 6 and 2, if that makes sense. So you swap them over like that, yep, um, changing anything else makes absolutely no difference at all. So that is how to, let me just go and swing this back round, that is wiring up a drum reverser. Um, hope that was useful to you. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and uh, subscribe. Any questions in the comments, you do need the documentation for the drum reverser. Can't swear they all work the same way. It's just not very helpful having my head right uh, behind the light, but there you go. Anyway, thank you very much.